we talk in these segments about a lot of meetings and when folks who get my e-news each week know that I'll review, uh, you know, different uh, senior managers meetings we have, Cape managers meetings, um, other uh, meetings that are put together with counselors and, and agenda setting meetings and, and such. And I just wanted to point out that in some of the things that happen in, in, in some of those meetings and this last Wednesday when we had the senior managers meeting, we were discussing a variety of issues and then I, I go around and ask each department what they would like to share about things that are going on. The chief mentioned the, uh, some of the opiate issues that the police were confronting and the number of overdoses that they had had to deal with in the, in the course of the last um, calendar year and the resources that went, went into that. Um, Tom McKean from uh, Public Health, when it was his turn, mentioned that you know they had been talking uh, with the Board of Health about how to do more education around prevention and this issue because they see it on a lot of different levels and impacting uh, public health that's, um, uh, that's out there. Then our um, DPW spoke and said, look, it's an issue for us too because we're out and we see the needles. We see the folks that drop them in the ground, put them, uh, you know, in, 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 in parking lots, by the bandstand, whatever it might be, and they're raking those up. And they, we have education on uh, how to how to safely handle these this the trash and the non-piercing gloves and things of um, of, of that nature. And then um, we know that the it's an issue for the schools and for young people. Um, uh, <clears throat> the um, senior center then uh, piped up and said, "Well, listen, you know, we talk about that at the senior level because there are uh, opiates that." Um, seniors get that become addictive and mm -hmm. um, we in general talked about that from a physician prescription point of view we know there's a lot of discussions going on there so just in one meeting we had you know five different agencies touch on how this problem impacts us and, uh, and and the monies and resources that we put into it and we the police department isn't going to solve it the schools alone aren't going to solve it it's really going to be a uh, you know, a, a community effort uh, that, that has some long-term uh, solution to this. We're hoping to work very closely with um, the Cape Cod Hospital on this. Hired, they've hired Cheryl Bartlett, the former Commissioner of Public Health, to come down and, and uh, work with them and head up their uh, addiction and opiate uh, areas. So we hope to be meeting with her soon after she uh, gets settled in. So it's one of those problems that, you know, you can just casually bring up about on a stati mm -hmm. statistic side and then <clears throat> see that it, it cuts through our whole, um, the whole fabric of our society. So it's really something that, that I know the town council has been very really involved in and trying to speak out and work with agencies on, but it's, um, it's something we've been working for years to try to resolve and hopefully 2015 will be the year that we make some significant headway in it. Absolutely. Well, really, you know, I, I give credit to all of the department heads and yourself for, for bringing the issue up and not being afraid to talk about it. And certainly hearing from all those different perspectives, whether it comes from the superintendent mm -hmm. or the senior center or the police, that just shows how multifaceted and really pervasive the issue the mm -hmm. issue is. And it's not just one aspect of the population that's being affected. It's almost everyone. Well, and then when it when it hits in a family, it, it it's not just the individual, the addict that you know becomes uh, uh, the focus of, of how to how to solve that the, the problem for them. It just impacts the family life all the way through. So um, my heart goes out to those that have had to deal with it, and it's all economic levels. And uh, we certainly hope that, as I say, um, we can keep working on this and try to make headway in 2015. Great. Well, Tom, I thank you so much as always for joining us here on Barnes School this morning. It's a pleasure to have you on the show.